Good morning, everyone. Mr. Venturesky back again. This is, what is it now, Tuesday morning, and I'm doing some videos here for you guys on some math. It is a very lonely classroom without all you guys here. I'm going to give you a little shot. Look, no one here. Super boring. It is clean, though, so when you guys come back, it'll be clean. Here's some DVDs that Mr. B brought in uh, to give to me for the class, and the rest we're going to donate. Um, but otherwise, it's very lonely here without you guys around definitely missing having you guys here but either way um, you are on our final sheet for area of a parallelogram after this we're going to be moving on to area of a triangle which if you got area of a parallelogram area of a triangle is really not much different uh, so hopefully that uh, that goes well for that. Um, we've already done a couple of different word problems, and if you need to um, remember how to do those, just head back to my other video, uh, the one before this, uh, and you will get a chance to see that. On the final sheet, however, uh, these are textbook questions. There is one question that comes up that I just wanted to review with everyone because it can be one that can be tricky, and it's one of the first questions you're going to encounter, and it looks like this. It has a parallelogram, uh, with um, some measurements. We have uh, six and three centimeters, and it says Shin calculated the area to be 18 centimeters squared. Is he correct? Why? Now, obviously, the textbook doesn't say Shin, and the measurements are a little bit different, but the question is the same. Now, looking at this, a lot of people would jump to a conclusion and say, yes, Shin is correct because the base is six and the height is three. But we really need to look at this a bit more before we make that decision. If we use our formula, area equals base times height, we definitely know that six is the base, but the question is, is three the height? And the answer to this is no, three is not the height, it's the side length, and the side length is not the height. The height is the distance from the base to the other base. This would be the height, or that could be the height, or this would be the height, but this is the side length. The side length is actually slightly longer than the height. So if we measured the, um, if we took this, this three centimeters and we shifted it this way, it's gonna actually be a little bit bigger than the height. So Shin is wrong. And the reason why he's wrong is because Shin measured the side length, not the height. So Shin measured the side length and not the height. So be very careful when you're dealing with shapes like this, parallelograms, because you need to know exactly where the height is. I'm gonna show you an example of where Shin might have been right. Let's take a look here. All right, guys, here's another example here. Uh, this one is a rectangle, so similar to a parallelogram, but there is one big difference, and it's definitely different here. And it says, Shin calculated the area to be 21 centimeters squared, or meters squared, I should say, sorry. Is he correct and why? Now, let's take a look at our formula. Area equals base times the height. Area equals seven times now. Let's take a look at this three meters. Is three meters the height in this type of shape? Now the answer is yes, it is. And seven times three is 21 meters. So Shin redeemed himself and he is correct. Here, we're not dealing with a angled parallelogram. We're dealing with a rectangle, which means there's a 90 degree angle here. So the side length is the height. So for this question, Shin was correct. In the other type of example that I you saw before, he was incorrect because he measured the side length there and not the actual height. Be very, very careful, guys, when you look at these questions um, because they can be a little tricky and they're meant to be. They're trick questions, so they're meant to throw you off. So just be careful when you watch those. I know there's definitely one of these types of questions on the final sheet, and there is a couple other word problems that I already went over, so if you need to see those, go back to the previous video 
video and take a look. Otherwise, guys, on the next video, we're going to be looking at area of a triangle, and there'll be three worksheets on that. And then lastly, at the end of next week, we'll start area of a trapezoid, and we'll go through that. They're all the same in terms of we're looking for area. The formulas are just slightly different, and we'll talk about that in the next video. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please message me. I'm here all day, and I'd love to talk since I'm sitting in a room by myself and starting to go a little stir-crazy. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.